finally, we must be determined to help the people of our state become healthier. And we've made important strides. We've protected our clean air and water by punishing polluters and stopping emerging contaminants from being discharged into the Cape Fear River. Every North Carolina family deserves to know their drinking water is safe. In October, our administration got people near coal ash ponds off bottled water, and now they have permanent, safe water. Our Department of Environmental Quality will continue to push for safe storage of coal ash across the state. We also must protect the health of our coastal communities from the threats of offshore drilling. The federal government must hear us loud and clear, not off our coast. And we know too many North Carolinians don't have health insurance. Tonight, I want to talk with you about a bipartisan way that we can get 500,000 working North Carolinians some help. There are neighbors in your hometowns who are working two jobs that don't provide any health insurance. Doctors and nurses across our state see it every day. Are we willing to help them? It's time. Police chiefs and sheriffs say they're overwhelmed by the wreckage of opioid overdose and people who need treatment, not jails. Are we willing to help them? It's time. Business owners say they're tired of paying higher premiums to cover the cost of treating the uninsured in emergency rooms. Are we willing to help them? It is time. Rural hospitals are bordering on bankruptcy and even closing because many of their patients don't have health insurance. Are we willing to help them? Yeah. Well, it's time. Our communities could use an extra 30 to 40,000 good paying jobs. Are we willing to help them? Yeah. It's time. Many North Carolinians are tired of their tax dollars going to Washington to cover people in other states, but not our state. Are we willing to help them? Yeah. It's time. There is someone in our audience right now who's willing to help them. Dr. Gregory Adams, a pediatrician who practices in Watauga County. He sees the problem of lack of health insurance in his own community. He worries that many people won't get treated for their chronic conditions unless we do something about it. He says it makes no sense to say no to something our federal tax dollars already pay for in other states. Dr. Adams believes that as soon as we can, right now, we should expand Medicaid. So let's follow the doctor's orders. <laughs> Dr. Adams is determined to keep people healthy. Dr. Adams, please stand so we can acknowledge you and all of the doctors, nurses, and hospitals that want to do this. Thank you, Dr. Adams. 